Hey, it's Nicolette here with another video message for you. Um, I'm excited about today's message because it's been a while since um, I have been able to really like reflect and, and get some lessons out and a lot has been going on in the last month or so, so I'm excited to share and um, a lot of what today's video is about, um, I feel <laughs> it's going to be about, um, you know, what it means to be a creative entrepreneur and um, what it means to be in creative flow and what the creative process looks and kind of some um, sort of tips around, you know, my own personal lessons really around being in creative flow and how to best um, utilize that space and and to feel good in it and to create the most amount of rewards and benefits and abundance and um, you know taking on being in creative flow and as an entrepreneur how to best like be in that space because um, it's you know I feel like a space that as a creative entrepreneur we all want to be in but once we're there it's a little bit like there's just like unfamiliar water and what's going on and um, it's it's kind of a it's you know there's a lot of uncertainty and possibility and um, you know it's it's like can can be an intimidating space to be in um, you know it being just human really and wanting things to be secure and safe and um, so anyways. Basically, I've been traveling around a lot in the last month or so. I was in the Bay Area, and then I was in Tahoe, and then I was in San Diego, and then Joshua Tree. I'm back in San Diego right now um, for a little while until I go back to the Bay Area. And through all that movement and creativity and travel and, and everything, I've been taking on new projects and opening up to new relationships and... Um, you know, seeing what the possibilities are there, creating something together, closing that loop, bringing another person in, create, creating something else for them, and just really, like, been in my own creative flow. But um, through that, you know, everything has, has been quite amazing and beautiful and supportive and great, but there have definitely been some reflections on, you know my own journey as a creative entrepreneur and, and what's going on for me. So um, what I've really been seeing inside of myself is that um, I'm only allowing so much to come through. You know, like I'm really have just been allowing the basic amount of creativity to flow through me. And um, I don't know if there is like a basic set amount, but for me, this is what, you know, what feels real for me is that it's been... Um, pretty minimal and, and that I could allow for much, much more. And so in that, um, I just kind of wanted to expand upon what that space feels like and to see maybe if you can relate with it. And um, basically, the way that it, it feels for me is that there's this need to control a little bit and for me I don't I don't I'm not a very controlling person you know like I feel I'm pretty open to flow as like most of my life is is a one big like creative flow but within the flow there's like a need to control what's happening within that flow so it's like this this subtle subtler level of control for me and um it's because um, because of this control that, you know, I'm really not playing full out and I'm not using my whole heart and my whole energy and um, ultimately creating, like, the best results. Because um, there's kind of this need to... Um, there's this need to really have things lined up and like know, okay, A, B, C, you know, this is the rational mind, right? Which is like very oppositional to the creative mind. So 
so the rational mind wants to know how things are it's going to work out like a plus b equals c and how we're going to get here and what we're going to do this and so it's uh you know and there's obviously like such a necessity for that but um how do we open up to flexibility within this kind of strategic um thinking and I think that's when the creative process can start to um, really come through and produce the best results. And you start to have these like compounding wins. So you're allowing things to, to come through when they need to come through. And, you know, for me in particular, it may look like okay, you know, right now I have to build this website and I can't make this video, but, you know, even though it's like tapping on my shoulder, being like, oh, hey, like video, video, this video wants to happen, you know, but I'm like, no, I need to do this. If I do this, I'm going to get distracted and then, you know, it's all going to fall apart or whatever. When the truth is that when something's tapping on your shoulder, like that needs to get attended to. And this video is going to take me 10 minutes and then I can like come back to this website I'm building. I can, you know, write the script I need to write, like whatever. It's all going to get taken care of. But am I willing to allow the flow to come through? Am I willing to open up? Am I willing to all of a sudden be producing results that I, that I didn't think I could produce because it didn't feel rational? It didn't feel like, you know, strategic. It didn't feel like it was like... You know, oh, but that's, I'm going to get distracted or whatever it is. Like, am, am, how, how good am I willing to let my life get? You know, how much beautiful, wonderful, creative flow am I going to allow to come through right now? <laughs> this is the question that I've been asking myself and um, reflecting on really how kind of minimal it has been so um so I realize inside of that inside of that need to control and that need to kind of um be strategic in my in my work and what I'm doing I haven't really been um producing as much as I can produce and having as much fun as I could have and feeling as great as I could you know like I've been following my bliss but just like you know like taking little spoonfuls of bliss you know when I could just like swim in it like good just enjoy it and and uh, really open up and and allow you know, that channel of creativity to, to flow through and just be in it and, and like love it and swim in it. And so I realized for me, there, there's so much more that I can open up to. And I think that, you know, as a creative entrepreneur, there always is so much more, especially when we're starting out on this path. Um, it can feel a little bit overwhelming to really to really open up to that creativity, but the truth is, um, you know, once we go there, uh, the results are going to be amazing and astounding and compounding. You know, all of a sudden, uh, the truth is you're not in control, and things are coming to you that otherwise wouldn't have, and you're just kind of like all of a sudden like whoa stuff is happening and like I'm not controlling it and it's just coming to me and where is this coming from and what what is going on here and it's a beautiful thing it's abundance and it's um it's the heart of creativity and um so I just um I would hope that you know you can kind of take this information and have an awareness for yourself about maybe where you're holding back in your creativity and where you're only allowing a certain amount of to come through and where you think, you know, it might be a distraction or, um, or you might think like, oh, I can't pay attention to that right now 
because I have all this other stuff to do and um, and that you take some time to just to allow you know the thing that's tapping on your shoulder today to come through and um, and you may be very surprised about um, what that produces and the compounding results from um, from that creative thing that's <laughs> that's tapping on your shoulder so heed the call allow more open up um, I hope that you are having the most beautiful day and um, that everything is just like abundant and overflowing in your life and um, let me know what you think about this video and and if it resonated with you at all and if, if you uh, feel like you could open up more uh, on your path as a creative entrepreneur and and it doesn't have to look like working your ass off nope it doesn't have to look like that it's more about playing with your full heart so are you playing with your full heart today and are you um, creating the, the you know most amount of results that you can with with that creative flow so thanks so much for watching the video and um, I will see you on the next one thanks <laughs>